It's going to be an adventure for most of you. In fact, this is one of the most, most struggling things that you'll do is, is get this snow in here. I've been teaching this for many years, and this is one of the biggest battles. You do it in two stages. Number one, take a little water, take a little white, and somewhere on your palate, and you can see I still use a dirty palette, but it's dry under there. Then I take a little bit of that purple color that was the underneath color, and you just tint that white just slightly. Now the paint's nice and creamy. Then you start up here on top, and you're going to dry brush this. Now we're going to just, all we're going to do is build the basic location of the movement of the snow. So you just start like this. Now this is where most of you don't paint it on solid, but you want to kind of scrub it on. Doesn't take much paint to do this, so start scrubbing, building some movement. And the key is the way you roll your brush here to create the little pockets and drifts. Of course, this is going to drift up against the building, and we're going to brighten that later, but right now you just want to get it in there. And the key, see I'm scrubbing it like this and rolling my brush and blending it into the background just sort of naturally. Now, I don't want to come too far over here because we have a, uh, that's kind of a shadowed area. See how it kind of just roll the brush. And it creates these little pockets. And I've got it set up in the other painting there where it looks like there's some footprints in the snow over here. But notice all I do is just scrub. But as you're scrubbing, see you're blending, creating movement. Now you can have a little shat, a highlight over here, but see it's more of a faded, kind of fades out. Maybe a little back there where the sun kind of, where the moon comes behind, that kind of adds a little depth to it. So what I'm doing, as you can see, I'm leaving a little darker right through here, where it may be where they've had their pathway to, uh, you know, wherever, maybe the outhouse or the river. Uh, there's a stream that runs right through the Indian village there. It's really interesting, and they still use that stream a lot for washing their clothes, and, you know, they still live pretty much like they did um, 500 years ago there. It's really interesting. <clears throat> Most of them still have the original dirt floors and you see the secret to this is the softness scrubbing it blending it so that it's very subtle very soft very easy to look at you don't have hard lines and edges then we'll pick selected areas where we want to be a little brighter here in a minute and highlight it a little brighter Yeah, this is man. This is so cool. This is this is this is one of my favorite things to do. I, I wish it was easier for most of you to get the hang of this, but most of you have a problem with the composition. In the end, it really boils down to a kind of a composition problem. You kind of clog up all your space, and then you can't see it as well, and so that's what gets some of you in trouble. Now, as, while that's drying right there, let's pick up a little bit brighter color, and this time you can use well. Let's just stick with this brush. Just come right over here, add a little more gesso to the mixture, touch more yellow. Take a little bit of white, more, I just got too much yellow in there, I think. Now this is where you can pick a few areas that are just a little brighter, especially like up here by the house. Now notice right on the top there, I will blend that and just kind of gently blend it in. So you want to just pick up some really bright spots here and there. And you know where the bright spots are because it's the raised areas. See these raised areas? There's a lot of those here. 
but you've got to be sure you blend it in. So don't just leave it there. Make sure that whenever you put it in there, that you move it around until it hits, gets into the next section. We mostly just want to get this area right in here because we're going to put the little oven in here in a minute. I want to get this all kind of blocked in here. This is, how you, this is all you do to build snow. This is how you build sand. This is how you build drifts of sand. You're just using a different color is all when you do that. And you'll, you'll be able to build this up as bright as you need it. You can go over this several times until you finally get the highlight that you want. See how that's already starting to look really like the moon hitting that? Now, let's take your charcoal. 